Hey everyone, if you work with GitHub issues, you know how lengthy and complicated they can get. Well, today I'm super excited to announce a new Chrome extension that can quickly summarize these GitHub conversations, the comments, the possible fixes on top of your GitHub issue page using LLMs. I'm using Google Gemini for this demo. Let's dive right into it. I'm writing Golang uh, for a project that I'm using right now. I'm using SQL C for doing SQL code generation. We ran into a problem where the order by is not supporting dynamic uh, parameters. So this was one issue that we found on GitHub and then we had to go down into this conversation, read everything and understand. This is the point where I realized what if I could have something that could save my time while going through all these conversations. It could just quickly give me a TLDR of all these conversations. Well. There is our Chrome extension. So on top, if you see, we have this AI summary box. If I just click on it, you see, it just quickly mentions the problem. I can just ignore what the problem and reason are. I might want to read them, but in my case, I already know it. So I'll just quickly go through the possible fixes section and you see it has already understood from the risk, from all the conversation history that we have, what is the best possible fix for this solution. And then on top of that, it also mentions this approach dynamically chooses the column and direction based on the values of order by. And it also mentions that it becomes increasingly complex as the number of orderable columns grow. Type mismatches can occur if the column types are different, leading to errors. This is because case expressions require all branches to have compatible types. So it could quickly give me a possible solution. And if I go down on the issue page, you see someone has already mentioned this. So it's not like it's it's uh, hallucinating or coming up with the solutions on its own. It's actually trying to summarize what's present on the page. Let's take another example now. I am a big fan of a vector database called Object Box, which runs on mobile devices, but I wanted to try it out with the React Native project. But unfortunately, it wasn't available. Let's uh, just quickly search for it. So Object Box for React Native. You see, we have this issue support for React Native. Let's click here. You go to the additional page, you see you have AI summary and an emoji that indicates if the summary is ready or not. You can go down to the page, you can read through all these comments, you can read through this discussion. You see even I have also commented here that we would need to have a React Native project and it would be really good and they say that there's no concrete plan to implement. Let's take a look at the AI summary and see what it has captured. It says, Currently, Object Box does not offer support for React Native development, limiting its use in a growing mobile app market. While no concrete plans for React Native support have been announced, the issue acknowledges the potential value Object Box could bring to the React Native community. The issue encourages users to show their support by thumbing up the original post to highlight its importance. So, just by reading this summary, got the idea that they don't have any concrete plans to implement it right now, and this saves my time. So again, the examples that I showed are still smaller GitHub issues. There are plenty of GitHub issues that have a lot of conversations, and at the end of the day, you still realize that there is no possible fix. It's just a uh, it's just a discussion. So I hope it saves your time in doing that. How do we use this though? Let's quickly go to Chrome colon double slash extensions page. We'll go to this uh, details. We'll go to the extension options page. Here you can give your Google Gemini API key. Now Gemini allows us to have a free free tier where they allow certain number of requests every minute. I have submitted this Chrome extension to Chrome Web Store and looking forward to getting it submitted and uh, published as soon as possible.